Hi everyone! Welcome to Gao's Chinese Cooking Channel. Today we're going to fry some fish. I'm using haddock fillet, but you can use any fish you like, even chicken. Just make sure the fish is dry. Simply cut fish into big pieces, or slice it open if the fillet is too thick. First, I add some salt and pepper. To make the fish even drier, I use the flour to coat the first layer. Before making the batter, I usually heat up the oil first. Cornstarch reduces the gluten structure, makes the breading less chewy, and the baking soda not only helps creating the tiny bubbles but also darkens the color. Of course, the chili powder is always optional. When you add water to the dry ingredients, make sure you don't pour in at once, so you can feel and see the thickness of the butter. When you pull it up, the butter won't break, that means it's ready. At last, I add vinegar. Vinegar reacts with the baking soda and generates tiny bubbles inside the batter. It is the bubble that makes the bread crispy. And that is the reason why I add vinegar at last, to save the bubbles stay in their places. Grab a little bit of fish with your fingers, dip it onto the batter. Remove the excess. Then drop it onto the dry flour one more time. After flipping few times, you can clearly see the wrinkles on the top of the fish. Now it's the time to fry it. Oil temperature is 350 Fahrenheit. Drop the oil on top of the fish to help the wrinkles to set. You know it's ready when you see the golden brown color. Remove the excess oil with a kitchen towel. A tart sauce can be easily made with garlic, salt, and sour cream. I usually flavor the garlic with the salt first. And then add sour cream and a little bit of milk. Let's see how it turns out. Crispy, crispy, and crispy. It's good that you eat while it is hot, since the breading is not too thick and will become soggy. But that is okay. Heat up the oil and fry it one more time. Double fried fish is even crispier than the single fried. Thank you for watching and see you next time.